Have you ever wondered why you can remember the past but not the future? You can drop a mug but you can't undrop it. Time, it seems, only wants to move one way, forward. But why? Why is there an hour of time at all? Today we're diving into one of the most mind-bending questions in physics. Buckle up and try not to age too much while you're watching. So what even is time? Well, time is weird. We live inside it, depend on it, and are constantly running out of it. But ask a physicist what time is, and they'll probably say something like, well, it's a parameter in an equation. In physics, most fundamental equations work just fine backwards or forwards. They don't care which direction time flows, which makes you wonder. Maybe time doesn't have a direction at all, but clearly something makes it feel like it does. And that thing is entropy. Entropy is a fancy way of saying stuff gets messier over time. You know, like your bedroom, uh, my inbox, or the entire universe. In physics, entropy measures disorder. And according to the second law of thermodynamics, entropy always increases. You can scramble an egg, but you can't unscramble it. Well, not without some funky kind of witchcraft. That's the origin of what we call the arrow of time. Things move forward from order to disorder. And that one-way street, that's what gives time its direction, at least how we experience it. Now let's bring Einstein into this, because no mind-bending physics video is complete without a little relativity. In his theory, time isn't some universal ticking clock, it's a bit stretchy. It slows down near massive objects like black holes and suns, and it speeds up the farther you are from gravity. It's like the universe's most chaotic time zone system. But even then, time still moves forward, just at a different rate depending on where you are. So relatively complicates things, but it doesn't reverse them. You're still going to age, no matter if you're near a black hole or travelling near the speed of light. Now, quantum mechanics is where things get really confusing, because quantum physics loves nothing more than chaos. At the quantum level, many equ equations are time somatic, meaning, in theory, things can run in reverse and still follow the rules. So why don't they? Well, blame it on a measurement of something called decoherence. When you observe a quantum state, you sort of force it to choose a reality. That act, collapsing, collapsing the wave function, appears to be irreversible. So maybe the direction of time emerges when we look at stuff, which is just a little bit unsettling. So could time go backwards? Short answer, maybe. Long answer, almost definitely not. In theory, nothing in the laws of physics forbids time from running in reverse. But in our universe, we never see that happen. You never watch a shattered glass leap off the floor and reassemble itself. Unless you're watching YouTube in reverse, which we've probably all done at some point. Some physicists have toyed with the idea of mirror universes where time runs backwards, but so far it's all speculation and there is none or very little evidence. The best guess we have as to why time moves forward is that the universe, universe began in a very low entropy state. The Big Bang wasn't just a big boom, it was a moment of extreme order. Ever since, entropy has been increasing. That increase is what gives time its direction. So we march forward from breakfast from dinner, from birth to death, all because the early universe was weirdly tidy. In other words, the universe is getting messier and it's dragging us along with it. Time's arrow isn't something fundamental, it's just ent entropy's messy footprint. So the next time you forget where you put your keys, just remember, the universe wants things to get disorganised. It's not your fault, it's physics. Probably. Why does time only move forward? Because entropy says so. And if the universe ever starts tidying itself up, we're going to have much bigger problems than scrambled eggs. If you enjoyed this deep dive into the strange world of time and physics, hit the like button, hit the subscribe button, and tell me in the comments. Would you want to live in a universe where time runs backwards, or would that just make your morning coffee a bit weird? This is Why Decrypted, where we break down the universe one weird question at a time. I'll see you in the next video, or maybe the previous one.